All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Panky Bunky back again with another video of Singles Boat Jingles. So I've opened up a bunch of uh, cards from the Wilds of Eldraine uh, set. Uh, however, I did uh, order a bunch of um, singles over the last few weeks um, and just arrived today. So let me share that opening with you. Um, so when we do this, uh, I think I have three bunch of packs here. Let's go first with the um, ones in the reused Kamigawa set booster packs. So what do we have here? Again, normally I, I, I do like to get these lower value, uh, obscure cards or cards from older sets um, because they, you know, I only got back to Magic back in 2021, I think it was. Um, so I have missed out on a lot of cards from when I um, was playing back in the 90s. So let me um, allow uh, um, us to take a look at some of the older sets. Okay, so why don't we start first with some of the chaff here. We have Cobbled Lancer. So this is from Crimson Vow. One blue to cast, three to zombie horse. Um, as an additional cost, you exile a creature card from your library, and then you can pay four, exile this card, and draw a card, okay? Uncommon there. We have a Landscaper Kodos. And so, yeah, why don't we do this? Okay, so we have a Fury Silver. Nice. Um, so that's particularly nice because I did get the sliver um un, what do you call it the sliver deck from uh, the commander masters uh, um, set so i'm just doing a little bit of upgrades before i put the deck together and then i got this nice foil pit fight so it's one red or green target creature control fights with another target creature actually this works for my aragorn deck um so it counts as two colors um, just two to cast, and I can use Aragorn to fight with another creature uh, from an opponent. And because it's also green, it gives Aragorn plus four plus four, so that can basically knock out any other creature um, with, on instant speed. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so maybe let's start here from the back. We have a Tavern Scoundrel, um, two to cast, Human Rogue, one, three, and Foil. Um, if I win a coin flip, create two treasure tokens, sacrifice another permanent, flip coin. Okay, so this is the chaff. Uh, bone shredder, probably part of the chaff as well. Three to cast, Frex and Minion, 1-1, one, one, flying with Echo. Editors the battlefield, destroy target, non-artifact, non-black creature. Oops, that, that can be an uncommon slot here. Okay, we have Colossal Might, so another um, card for my Aragorn deck, two to cast in two colors. Um, target creature gets plus four plus two and gains trample until end of turn, which Aragorn actually needs because he doesn't have trample. Uh, next we have Rush of Adrenaline, so it's a one to cast instant. Uh, target creature gain gets plus two plus one and gains trample until end of turn. Maybe useful with Aragorn, um, but I wish it was two colors, right? So you can maximize the value from that commander. Next up, we have another Rush of Adrenaline. Okay, and next we have a Tithe Drinker. Um, so this is a Vampire, two to cast, two one with Lifelink and Extort. Okay, so this, you can always find somewhere to put that. Next we have a Foil Shielding Plax. Nice, so something that I can also put on Aragorn, give the text proof to protect it um, and with, with the, the green, buff it up, plus four, plus four. With the blue, allow it to scry. Then you draw a card. Okay. Next, we have Lure. So, uh, this is something that goes to my, um, what, what do you call this? My um, Thrun Breaker of Silence deck, which I call my Fight Club deck. Uh, so you attach it to Thrun um, because it's indestructible during your turn. So when you attack, you're able to pull in all of the um, blockers, right, uh, from a particular opponent, which 
could potentially die because um, Thrun would be a big boy by that time. So I think I got several copies of Lure. Uh, next is Double Cleave. So it's two to cast, um, hybrid red or white. Target creature gains double strike at the end of turn. Again, good for Aragorn for some combat tricks. And then we have a double cleave, so another copy. Next, we have a shadow sliver, three to cast. All slivers have shadow, just to give you that extra evasion uh, for that um, sliver pre con that I was putting together. And lastly, we have Curse of Fool's Wisdom, uh, six to cast, um, aura curse. Uh, enchant layer, whenever enchant layer draws a card, they lose two life and you gain two life, and as mad as four. So this would actually be an upgrade to my Witch Bitch deck, uh, which is Lind, um, the Aura, <clears throat> the Curse Commander. So this is pretty good. I have been looking for that card for a while. Okay, so we'll move on to the next pack and see what goodies we have here. Just give me a second, please, to just open this up. There we go. pretty tightly there we go okay so let's take out the chap first this I don't know it's in Japanese uh, print or font don't know what that is okay next is a foil world weary from MH2 and then from here Okay, so these look like good cards already. Okay, more chaff, phantasmal dreadmaw, and foil and showcase art. Dinosaur illusion and a ride the lightning. Okay, so what does this do? Um, it's an instant five to cast. Choose target player or creature or player. Scry three, then reveal top card of your library. Right, riddle of lightning. Not not ride the lightning. Sorry, yet. but Metallica fan. Riddle of Lightning deals damage equal to the card's convert mana cost to that creature or player. Okay, next, we have a bunch of cards over here. So we have Syndicate Enforcer, uh, four to cast, Human Rogue, three, two with Extort. Okay, I think I got some of these Extort cards thinking of upgrading my Golgari um, deck with Dina, the Soul Steeper. Um, so this allows me to, to um, just maximize her uh, abilities in terms of um, um, causing life, uh, life loss when, when I gain life. So when you extort, right, you, uh, opponent loses life and you gain that much life and you can double that up with, um, with uh, Adina's abilities. So let's put that there. Next we have Sinister Possession. So it's an aura for one black. Never giant creature attacks or blocks. Its controller loses two life. Okay, cool. Foil winners at that. Okay, so um, let's go here. Next up, we have Glimpse the Future. It's a sorcery three to cast from M14. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them to your hand, the rest into your graveyard. So I think this might be chaff. Nothing special there. Glimpse the Future, okay. Next, we have a Sidewinder Sliver. Um, so sliver, sliver creatures have flanking. So yeah, the, um, I wouldn't say it's evasion, but it could help, right? Like uh, remove or at least bring down a notch uh, blocking creatures for my sliver deck. Next up, we have Rumor Gatherer. This is an underrated card at three to cast. Um, Elf Wizard 2-1, and whenever another feature ends about it under your control, it's try one. If it's the second time the ability is resolved, then you draw a card instead. From Streets of New Capenna, we have Seeker of the Way. It's a human warrior, two to cast. 2-2 um, two, two power toughness with prowess, and whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Seeker of the Way gains lifelink until end of turn. Okay, next we have Battle Mastery. So this is a Aura and Angelic Creature has double strike. Next up we have Aeronaut Admiral. I think this is from the Commander 
uh, bring funds from um, what do you call this from uh, Neon Dynasty flying vehicles you control have flying 3 1 human pilot okay Gloom Shrieker so this is a 3 to cast uh, Golgari cat beast uh, enchantment creature 2 1 with Menace and when Gloom Shrieker enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from the graveyard to your hand. And if it would die, exile it instead. Cool. Then we have Claws of Gix. So this is a sack outlet, pay one, sacrifice permanent, gain one life. Okay. Ah, next up we have a mythic this time. Pernice, the subtle brush. So this is two um, blue, black, red for a 4-4 legendary vampire wizard. So whenever you are permanent, you control becomes target of a spell or ability and opponent controls. Can that spell or ability unless that player pays for life. Whenever you copy a spell, up to one target opponent may also copy that spell. They may choose new targets for that copy. So uh, sort of a uh, interesting counter spell copy type of effect, um, but you have sort of ward um, of four life there. And so interesting, this could be used for uh, some political uh, uh, activities during a, a, a commander game. Interesting card. Um, let's see if we can put this to use somewhere. And last one would be Toxic Iguanar, a lizard for one to cast. Toxic Iguanar has death touch as long as you control a green permanent. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we're down to our last pack for this uh, singles bojingles um, video. And let's see what we get here. Okay, hold on for a second. All right, so typically we have some chaff. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's take out the chaff first. All right, there we go. So let's go through the chaff. Trusty Pack Beast. Okay. Spontaneous Mutation. Exquisite Hunt Master Makeshift Munitions. Armory of Gorillas. Court Street Denizen. Prying Eyes. Watching You. Howling Golem. Uh, Corpse Churn. And a Portent of the Trail. Alright, so now let's look at the business end. Um, of these singles so first up we have iron claw mirror so two to cast artifact feature with infect um, i do like that infect so i got multiple copies of that next up we have a sapsy forest with a little damage up there so it's a land um yeah. next we have pristine skywise it's a six to cast um, dragon flying. Uh, whenever you cast a non creature spell, untap pristine skywise, you gain protection with the color of your choice until end of turn. Okay. Then um, we have Soul Diviner in the mirror colors. Tap, remove a counter from an artifact creature land or planeswalker control, draw a card. Okay. Then we have a Mantis Rider. So it's a three to cast a human monk with flying vigilance and haste. Next, another land, a Grixis Panorama. All right. Steel Hellkite, always a steady card. Um, thread on the board for sure. Um, so 60 cast, uh, Dragon with Flying 5-5. Five five. Can pump it up by paying two or um, pay X, destroy each non-land card permit with converted mana cost X, whose controller was dealt damage by Steel Hellkite this turn. Activate this ability only once each turn. Cool. Next, we have Wild Beast Master. So it's a three to cast one one human shaman. Never Beast Master attacks. Each other creature you control gets plus X plus X until I've earned where X is Wild Beast Master's power. All right. Uh, so we have another copy of Wild Beast Master. Howl of the Horde. So it's three to cast. Whenever you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Now, if you attack with a creature this turn, and when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell an additional time, you may choose a new uh, 
we may choose new targets for the copy. So uh, this is a good upgrade for my um, Lightning Butt Calamax deck. So I got multiple, multiple copies of that. Song of Freyalise. It's a saga. Um, first two lore counters uh, creatures you control can add one mana uh, of any color. And then on the third lore counter, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Those creatures gain Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible until end of turn. Okay. And then we move to Night Rampager from the Warhammer 40k uh, Commander Precons. So uh, for 5 mana, this is a 6-5 Trampling Knight with Frenzied Rampage. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose an opponent at random. Knight Rampager attacks at player this combat if able. So when Knight Rampager dies, it deals 4 damage to target opponent chosen at random as well. Next, we have a Weaver of Harmony. Um, this uh, uh, card is getting some good traction now, especially with the number of um, Enchantress decks coming out from the pre-cons, especially with, um, uh, with the one coming from Commander Masters. And because that um, the Wilds Veil Drain is enchantment heavy, so we're gonna see a lot more enchantment decks come out. And definitely this is a auto-include in Enchantress decks because it gives enchantment creatures plus one, plus one, and then you can pay, tap it, uh, tar copy, target, activated, triggered, activated or triggered ability uh, from an enchanted source. So this is pretty good. Okay, so moving on. We have, oh, Grivnod Carnage Dominus from the Phyrexia All Will Be One block. So it's a 5 to cast Phyrexian Horror 8 3, where if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a current you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. And then if you pay two uh, Phyrexian black mana, exile three creature cards from your graveyard, put an indestructible counter on Rivnod Carnage Dominus. So good way to double up on death triggers. Okay, next we have, let's do it this way, Dragon Tempest. So two to cast enchantment whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn, and whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. So definitely one of those um, staples for uh, dragon decks. I actually have a bunch of dragons I've never gotten to um, make a dragon deck yet, but that is definitely in the cards, literally. Um, so this would be something that will go into that particular deck. Uh, and then, let's move on to the next one. Stubborn Denial, want to cast instant counter target. Not a creature spell unless its controller pays one card less. Now if you control a creature with power four or greater, counter that spell instead. So this is a pretty good um, counter spell um, when needed. And the last card would be the classic SDT, Sensei's Divining Top from um, Double Masters 2022. Uh, this card needs no introduction. Pay one. Uh, look at the top three cards of your library, then put it back and turn and tap, draw a card, put Sensei's Divining Top on top of its owner's library. So, definitely a great card for any deck. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this um, Singles Bone Jiggles episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.